Hello everyone, this is Ada Golami from Agnotsoft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to run Chi-Square Test of Independence using Microsoft Excel. So you know that the purpose of Chi-Square test is to check if observed data are similar to predicted data um, which are predicted under null hypothesis. But now I want to give you an example in here and um, take you with myself into running this chi-square test of independence on this, you know, hypothetical example. So let's say I have some observed data, which I will show by OBS. Let's say I have some observed data which are related to a classroom included men and women. And what I'm observing is the time they get to the classroom. So what I'm testing in here is that whether being late or on time has some relationship to the gender okay so in here i have men and women and i have two categories as being late or on time okay so well, as I've observed, I, I got this data as male being late were 32 and male uh, being on time was 68. And also women being late were 19 women and women which were on time were 81. Okay, so that's my data. Let's make it as a table okay okay so that's my um ugly looking table um now in here the first step we have to take is that we will sum up rows and columns in the contingency table Okay, so let's get into these rows so that I can type them. So I have observed data for men and women and for being late or being on time. So men being late were 32 and being on time were 68 for women was 81 and being late women were 19. Okay, we will sum them up and use some function in order to do that. And I have sum for rows and for columns. Okay, and I copy that to the next cell. After I have done this summing up, then I want to also have a total sum. Since it's not important whether to sum up the, the um, columns or the rows, uh, what I will do is that I will sum up the rows. Okay, which gives me the total sum of 200. Now, what I will do is that I make prediction under the null hypothesis. So, in order to make the prediction under the null hypothesis, I should have this formula as expected values, which I will write e for it is row total i will write row t stands for total multiplied 
by column total, column T, um, divided by overall total. Okay, let's do it together. So now what I want to do is that I go to expected and I will bold it for late, for on time, and for men and women. Okay, I'll write the formula as follows. Okay, so row total, which is this one, multiplied by column total, which is this one, and divided by divided by overall total, which is 200. And the next one, so men being on time again the row total and then for uh, men being on time we have row total multiplied by column total for on time and divided by divided by overall total then for women and being late again row total multiplied by column total divided by overall total and maybe if i so now i have the expected values um, under the null hypothesis calculated and we'll get to the next step which is calculating the difference between observed and, ex and expected. So I will um, name it difference. I will bold it. And in here I have also, um, you know, um, a formula. The formula is that a difference, which I show it by D, is observed minus estimated squared um, and divided by the estimated or expected okay so i'll get back to here and i have also late and on time for men and women i will have um observed minus expected to power of two and divided by expected which is here and now that i have this formula in here all i have to do is to copy it in here you can see um, observed minus expected to the two power and divided by expected value is uh, applied and I I'll, also I can um, do it for here and for here okay uh, okay so now that we're done doing this step we will get to calculate the chi-square value chi-square statistic value which i'll get it in here chi-square okay let me have it in here chi-square okay um what i have to do is to just sum up the differences and it get, it gets me the chi-square as 4.34 and now that i've uh, calculated the chi-square value um, and in order to have the degree of freedom degree of freedom i'll follow some formula as here so i erase this one And write the formula for degree of freedom, which is number of rows 
okay um minus one i'm sorry minus one multiplied by number of columns minus one now in here i have number of rows as two two minus one multiplied by two minus one which gives me the total number of one okay so i have degree of freedom as one Okay, I, I have degree of freedom as one. And now we will get into the end, which is calculating the p-value in here. So I'll bold it to. And for calculating the p-value, I will use the, um, two, I can use the two functions. Uh, the first one is chi-square dot this dot rt. And it wants me the x, which is the chi-square value, and the degree of freedom, which is 1. And I close the parentheses, and it gets me um, 0 0.03. Also, I can use the another formula as chi-square square dot test. And in here, it wants the actual range and expected range. So my actual range, which is observed, is here and expected under the null hypothesis is here. I close the parenthesis and you can see it, the two ones gives me, uh, give me uh, the same numbers. So now we get into the analysis and decision and decision making step. So what's that? Let me erase them all. So we have in here the p value as 0 0.03 or 3 percent, and I have the significance level or alpha level. as 5%. You know this rule that if the p-value, okay, if p-value is less than alpha, we will say that we reject null. Okay, but what is null hypothesis in here? So the null hypothesis in here is that H0 is that there is um, no significant relationship between gender and being late. So we say no relation. And the H alternative is that there is significant i'm sorry for the bad handwriting significant relationship okay so now let's um make decision we have uh, 0 0.03 less than alpha level and we get to conclusion that we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative one, which says there is significant relationship between gender and being late at a classroom. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Agnesoft channel. I will see you in the next videos and bye.